we are. We're live. Hi, everyone. Welcome awesome. to the show. Uh, we're here to play some Alien. Got us an ambush set up for today. Uh, let me go ahead and just... Were you supposed to tell us that part? Oh, wait. Oh, we're setting the ambush. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're setting the ambush this time. <laughs> it's unusual. <laughs> it is. Yeah, look at that. We even got a little ambush map up. People can see. People should zoom in on the spaceships. <laughs> I did. I did. Fantastic. Anyway, I don't even know. Let's do introductions and we'll figure out what's happening. Because I've slept since then. Um, Jeff is rocking a fantastic ponytail. He did not get his luscious locks cut off. That's correct. Oh, sorry. I wasn't knowing if you wanted me to follow up on that. I don't yeah, know. I just back there. See, see. That someone, someone's commenting in chat. So mm. I had to set uh, the record okay. straight. I did. I did. Anyway, just let's do introductions. It. Jeff, who are you playing? Uh, JT McMurphy. Uh, how you doing, Captain Bloody Buzzard? Uh, formal, uh, former, uh, <laughs> informal, I suppose you could say. Uh, uh, colonial Navy operator, officer. I uh, saw some things he probably shouldn't uh, when he was young. At least that's what he thinks. He's not really sure. And they uh, they sectionated him. Uh, but the the good news is that while he was sectionated, uh, he met the love of his life uh, while he was uh, he was at the the facility, uh, and from it sprouted uh, my beautiful butt baby Mikey, uh, who uh, who is is honestly he is he has outpaced me as a human already. Uh, he is an ace pilot, and uh, he, is, he is my pride and joy, and uh, I'm going to teach him everything I know, because I know I'm not going to be here forever. Uh, so I want to make sure I get everything I know into that little kid's brain. And not only that, uh, in addition to my pride and joy, uh, I've also met a brand, brand new friend, a great, a great fella by the name of Moby. I have to be really careful, because sometimes the mic blows out. Uh, but uh, he and I, we stared in, off into the, the abyss of space together, and uh, we bonded. And, uh, you know, when you share when you share a week of staring into the darkness together, that's something you'll really forget. Yeah. Yeah, ask Mikey's mom. She knows. <laughs> yes. John. Can I? Is, is she still alive? <laughs> Uh, yes, she is. She's still in the facility. Oh, thank God. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. She's not a patient. She was one of the nurses. It's like, yeah, Captain, that makes it better. Hi, everyone. I'm Collins. It's uh, nice to be here. And uh, I don't actually have a pirate accent, but I fake one because the captain ordered me to do so at one point, and it just never stopped. So. But, uh, you know, uh, Mikey is, uh, he, well, he hates me, and that's fine. I, he's a young man. That's what they do. And, uh, and, and the captain has a new friend, Moby. That's lovely. Because, yep. Mm -hmm. It's good to stay asleep when traveling at FTL speeds. There's no research to indicate that's bad for you. And uh, everything's going fine. Uh, matter of fact, uh, you know, I lost my arm. That's how I met Big Mac is because I let him try out one of his recipes, but we needed meat and we were we were in a tight place. So I gave him the arm. Must be true. I heard it on the Internet. Oh, my phone's making noise. Stop it, phone. All right, Dan. Hi, I'm Dan, and I'm I'm playing Taggart, who apparently just have nobody loves anymore. Poor Taggart. <laughs> oh. I don't know that anybody ever loved him, but Taggart anymore? Taggart believes, you know, that maybe there was one point in time. Moby's gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that delivery. This heartfelt, touching. I'm going to kill Moby. It's just that turn at the end. <laughs> That's great. Bert, what do we got? Um, Big Mac Donald. A pirate as, you know, that's how I make my money, but my passion is in cooking. 
everything. And recently got uh, notoriety for being one of the best recipes for space whale. Got this shiny plaque in the mail, which I now wear around my neck on some golden chains. Well, they're, they're metal chains are painted gold, you know, pirate and not a rich man. Yeah. Uh, I'm just uh, reflecting in chat that uh, there seems to be a, a, a reoccurring pattern that people try to kill Jeff's favorite NPCs. They smushed really? Russell. Yeah. And well, I don't want to kill him. I just, you know, think I can make an awesome dish out of him. That's all. I'm, I'm, he's, uh... Taggart is supposed to be McMurphy's favorite NPC. <laughs> I really think it's important <laughs> to remind Big Mac that Moby uh, is a working Joe Android with a whale microwaved onto his head. Uh, I don't know if you really want to eat any of that. Too much, too much microplastic. It just makes it a challenge, Captain. That's all. <laughs> Full of delicious milk. Right. Uh, <laughs> well, please don't eat Moby. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh, I spelled it wrong. And then finally, we've got everyone's favorite kid. Eh. Oh. Suck Mikey. it, Collins. <laughs> My name's Mikey, and I'm an official space pirate. I'm the best goddamn pilot in the galaxy. Taggart, I love you so much. I took your belly button that you got removed. I put it on my fucking elbow. Because my dad taught me to respect the crew. Oh, God. At least just a little bit. Go away. All victories. Go away, Moby. But you know what? I heard that Collins was actually the one who recommended Dad hang out with Moby more. I feel like everyone feels threatened by Moby. I, think so. uh, I love Moby. He's great. You even taught me how to do the whale song. That's true. <laughs> I mean, I'm you're really I'm, working on your dialect there too. That's good. The accent was perfect. Can I can I stay awake sometime and look into the void of space too? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Captain. How many more people do I have to kill before you let me? Tagger. Oh. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> now I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> All right. Tagger takes on the whole crew now. <laughs> So, you probably win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Last session. A lot happened last session. You all set up your pirate mates. Three other pirate crews were that were hired showed up. Two of their captains ended up just being assholes. So McMurphy killed them. Thank you for that follow there, well, Snell Edo. Yeah. To be fair, I just want to say uh, Big Mac uh killed one that's true uh and i can't remember exactly who fired I, uh, was it me did i fire or was it taggart i think taggart fired yeah yeah so uh, i just you I said we should targeted. shoot him and so i just went and shot him yeah exactly that's okay. good it's good good okay well either way they're both dead new captains have been appointed on that crew and both of them are big fans of the bloody buzzard uh, let's see, we now have the, and I still can't pronounce these, because I... Because words are for nerds? Words are for nerds. Uh, there's the Posh Shod, piloted by Captain Bob Saget, and the Belisolo <laughs> Caliente, <laughs> piloted by Captain Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Uh, but the third <laughs> ship, whose captain won everybody over, uh, is the Tosk Calde. Captained by uh, Martha One Eye. Oh, oh yeah. And she is a <laughs> badass. One, one, some Aunt people Martha. are a little too over. <laughs> right, Aunt Martha. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, God, Aunt I Martha. Forgot about that. <laughs> Did you? I forgot that it came out that yes, McMurphy mm -hmm. and and Captain Martha are cousins uh, of some variety, and this was discovered after. 
Mikey became smitten with the most badass woman he's ever laid eyes on. Look, if you're going to get deflowered, do it the right way. Just yeah. not with family. Okay, thank you for clarifying. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't quite <laughs> certain where that was going. Yeah. I still don't understand where this deflower lingo comes from. Like what the hell, man? Like I didn't teach you that. No, I mean, but I, I used to like after my sister died, I used to read her diary and like she wrote about that a lot. You had a sister? Yeah, she got blown up. Oh, that's right. That's that's right. It's oopsie whoopsie. <laughs> yeah, it's just you know that happens sometimes on the mining colonies. It's just uh they're there. They're there. Uh, yeah. Captain, do you ever have a daughter that you know of? I mean, that I know of. Okay. Uh, no. To, to the younger sister and older sister. Older sister. Okay. She um, she was the one that took care of us. Like you know, uh, the guy that I thought was my dad. Obviously, he wasn't because I know you're my real dad. But like the guy I thought was my dad, like he left, and like then there was you know, mom, but. That was before, I guess, like, maybe she had quit her job at the facility. Or she was probably my foster mom. That totally wasn't my real... That wasn't my real family that died. That was a foster family. It was, you're my family. I'm your butt baby. <laughs> Things are unraveling. As they do. Has he been staying up with you at night? During when that? did this become a telenueva? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So, after the rearrangement of leadership on a couple of the other ships, um, you all leaked some information to Crispy. So he would then give that information to Grandy, captain of the Galactic Hammerhead. Um, and what you picked up from the one-sided conversation you listened in on from Crispy, uh, it sounds like the Galactic Hammerhead is en route to where you are at, because Crispy did reveal, like, here's where they are, here's what they're doing, you know, here's the situation with the other crews, um, and it gave some other hints, yeah, like, sound like they're, they're en route for some kind of ambush. Of course, you are all... Yeah, you're... Already, you've got a plan. You've got the uh, yeah. ship captained by Roosevelt and Saget hiding on the backside of the moon, while the Tosca Calde with Martha One Eye and the Bloody Buzzard with you all is um, hanging out on the approaching side of the moon or uh, planet. That way, if the Hammerhead shows up, uh, you'll be in prime ambush position because they are believing that. You're here on the planet harvesting space well eggs or larva, however they reproduce. So, why don't we, would be whatever you told him. So, yeah. Why don't we say you all hang out? You know, it's a little ways. You know, space it's big, takes a while to travel. Uh, I would like our comms to go ahead and give me a com tech test. I can do that. Just. I thought I had my character all pulled up, but I didn't. But that's okay. It's right here. Way to be ready, Collins. Ah, I tell you. Two successes. That is good. That is what I needed. Because you pick up that, in fact, you the Galactic Mako is in route. Well, a ship, large ship. You're imagining it's the Galact... Or not the... Yeah, Galactic Hammerhead. Mako was the old ship. Long distance. Engines are muted. Coming in on idle almost. Trying to be sneaky. Hiding signatures. Keeping any communications from going out. Uh, but Collins, you pick it up. Sure enough, ship. Direct course. Heading your way. Contact, Captain. I'm right here. Just... What, what do you want? Well, I'm just letting you know. I see them. They're coming in. Oh, yeah. Oh, outside. Okay. Gotcha. 
uh, I thought you wanted someone to contact me. I'm like three feet behind you. I don't know. <laughs> never mind. Just never reach mind. over and boop you in the nose next time. <laughs> our, uh, our Sagan and Roosevelt. I mean, what a powerful combo. Uh, are they in position? Uh, they are, yes. They're hidden behind. Uh, and actually, they would be kind of stacked up. It's kind of hard to see behind the backside of the moon, giving them some... Because this, the moon and the planet, they had a lot of electrical interference uh, that you picked up the first time you hid here from the space whale. Um, so yeah, they're hiding in ambush position. Alright. Uh, are we doing the fake planet stuff, or are we just gonna pretend to be, uh, you know, broken down or something? Are we gonna mock up the reactor or something make it look like we're dead in the water or something like that i thought we were just gonna you know look like we're harvesting whale egg thingies okay all right well let's uh do we what do we have on the ship do we have like a i know we have escape pods but do we do we actually have any kind of shuttle uh let me take a look i'm fairly certain that you did we've got like the star cub or whatever yeah so uh yeah you've got two star cubs which can operate as evs and because it counts as its own ship only catches no it even has an ftl rating so i mean it can operate as a full vessel yeah i so. mean it smells like taggart and, Cru and crispy but you know yeah and you've got two of those well i haven't been able to smell in 10 years so it's fine Okay. So, what do we want to do? Do we want to? Uh, so, do we want to send the cab down to the planet? Who's who's flying this thing? We need the kid up here. We need our best pilot on the ship. We can't. We can't send our best oh, yeah. pilot away. Uh, and I would like to throw out. You do have some NPCs. You yeah, could... Griff, you son of a bitch, get down here. Yeah, Griffle, coming. And Griff, I got a very important mission for you. you got a very important mission. Well, you got, Captain. Get, uh, you, you're the only one I can trust to do this, okay? You trust me, now, Captain. I trust you more than any of these other... You know what I mean? Oh, shit. We probably should have done this not on the bridge. Yeah, I Ste was... Step with me out into the tunnel really fast. All right. Right. Yeah, yeah, I was wondering why you were saying this in front of everyone. Well, I'm a very open guy. I don't like to lie, you know. That's how it is. I need you. You're gonna you're gonna play a, a crucial role. I want you to get in the stock yet. Yeah. All right. I want you to to go down the plant. You know. I want you to pretend like you're retrieving some eggs. You're gonna be the thing, the the bait. You know. Very oh, important. Right. You got that? I can handle that. When you get down there, I want you to radio. I want you to radio up to us. You know. Make up some mumbo jumbo about oh you know found a new mother load oh eggs everywhere uh, we're eating good tonight I don't know whatever you want you know riff on it a bit yeah uh, broadcast it though we want right. system wide don't don't worry about just making it to us okay to help lure them in some more you got it I got it it's easy enough all right hop in the you know shuttle head down to the surface make it look like I'm collecting eggs and communicate back with you all quite a bit saying oh there's so many of them it'll take me a while like that i'm gonna put my hand right on his shoulder i'm like perfect no one no one ever gets my orders on the first try like you do you know griff Thanks. you just you just know i think it's time to increase your share you're gonna, we're gonna increase your share nice all i right. appreciate that okay is that on top of the share that you increase share you already gave me well, uh, <clears throat> yes, sure, 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 yeah. Between you and me, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be down one marine, if you know, by the oh, end of this. I get you. So. <laughs> I get you. Finally getting rid of All Collins. Right, but... I can handle that. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You got it, buddy. <laughs> this guy. All right, Captain. I'll go get suited up and head on down. Okay. Sounds good. I'll uh, go back I'll go back into the bridge. Yeah. And I'll make sure I'll make sure comms are off. You know, so you can't hear him like, what a fucking moron that guy. Jeez. Ugh. Smooth. 
Uh, let's see here. All right, so I rolled for Griff a piloting test, and he actually succeeded. So I'm going to put a little EEV token down we'll there. Give, we'll give him a little gold star, too. Goes on the fridge. It's a, yeah. You know, grid. It's got all of our names. There's gold stars. So, oh, and actually, getting peeled off mysteriously. I don't know how that happens, Collins. Yeah. <laughs> can't imagine, Mikey. Can't imagine. Damn this thing. So, condensation or some shit. And with <clears throat> the launch of Griff in your EEV, uh, you actually see that the Tosca Call Day. Uh, they launch their own uh, and you hear Martha come up on comms buzzard it's about time we start this mining operation I got my crew down there to meet you uh, we're running a little thin up here on the ship so uh, I won't talk to you again until we catch you surface side because I'm heading down there with them too Copy that. We're sending our best guys down there. No way. We're sending the best guys we get. That's and good. we'll be fine. We'll need it. Them whale eggs be slippery. Slippery? But well, boy, are they going to pay off, you know? Oh, my goodness. Uh, it's good. So, Collins, as this is happening, you're slowly watching the hammerhead, thinking that it's it's flying under your radars closing in so um we got our prep in the way i'm going to presume that all of you are in battle stations and with that uh we're gonna go ahead and fire up initiative should we uh get suited up just in case for an ev or a hull breach captain i mean i thought that was uh, sop I'm, I'm making sure. Someone's already you suited up, Collins. Yeah, tag it. You could leave your helmet on the hook. <laughs> Do you think that's best, sir? <laughs> Why don't you give it to Moby just in case? I'm sure he can hold it for you and he can hand it to you. One second. I'm just going to make sure he understands that if you need it, he'll make sure you get it. And he just yeah. <laughs> moves up and just snatches your helmet right off your head. And he's kind of like he's got it, and he's just like singing over the top of it to get that deep resonance going. <laughs> it's amazing watching them learn, isn't it, Taggart? Just amazing. Sure. Everything's going to be fine. Go ahead, take your station. So, Hammerhead, I'm going to set their movement at two, which means uh, every round they're going to move two movements. They got higher on initiative. Uh, next up is the Tosca Call Day. And you get a, a communication from Martha again. Well, Captain, it looks like our storage compartments are just about full up of whale eggs i'm ready to head back up to the surface whenever you are you catch my drift captain uh, i hear you i hear you yep we're just about ready to uh yep 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 uh so i will like low key to everyone like uh do we do we see so we, we have we're, we're getting like the whole thing on on uh yeah, it's at it this called? point, like, it would be see. even in visual range. So you could look out the window and see the hammerhead. They've got lights down, but you can clearly see their silhouette. Um, mm -hmm. And then, you know, Collins has their tracking information up on his data board. So it's, yeah. Okay. So so at this point, I'm trying to remember what the next step of the, it was. Like, they, they're down there, they're coming back. Like, we're faking it, we're faking it, we're faking it. And, like have like we're still basically playing dumb at this point right yeah that's my understanding okay. is uh at least from what i remember last time let them close in thinking that you all weren't expecting an ambush 
-hmm. and then when they get up in range just turn around and just punch them hard yeah yeah okay hey, hey we're almost ready here too uh just a little while longer and then boy <laughs> we're just gonna unload these suckers all over you know what i'm saying i got you captain all right uh turn moves around to you the tosca call day uh they're playing it cool you're uh not picking up anything like any signs uh they're doing anything like powering up so they're playing it totally cool in line with the plan buzzard it's your turn so if we go by the combat turn order if we want to this isn't hard combat yet but first off would be sensor phase uh collins anything you want to lock down for sensors um yeah probably just give another sweep because we heard these got uh multiple ships so and right now we're just getting the one so i'm a little concerned that the others might be sneaking in or something sure give me another com tech even a broken clock's right twice a day i'm gonna, gonna push. push that all right so three four Good. successes that is a fantastic Ooh. roll you don't pick up any other ships uh, but what you do pick up is the ship that they are approaching in is massive, like repurposed military style, you know, dreadnought or something like that. Ooh, An absolute uh, monstrosity. And as you get a read on it, allow me to share the image of what comes through with this fantastic scan test that you did. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my. That's pretty cool. It's very that scary. Cool. Whales it are cooler be. than sharks. True. Fact. So, yeah, you... Uh, can I shrink that? I can't shrink that. Sorry, chat. That's all you see. But yeah, Collins, you pick it up. It is... Definitely doesn't mesh with what you've heard that grandy has um this is either he's got a new ship or he had something hiding in the work somewhere but this is an absolute just hulk of a goddamn ship uh, it looks like he's upgraded captain and might be a, a heavier like dreadnought type class vessel something along those lines i think he's compensating for something you know what i mean Yep, yep. Really, really small brain. And a flat right. ass. Flat ass. That's true. Okay. Uh once they're within fire and range. Don't wait for don't wait for the order tag it. They get within fire and range. You blow them the hell out of the sky. What, so, technically space, but whatever. Let's establish that. Big Mac and Taggart. What uh which weapons are you two on? Uh, we've got our rail gun. We've got orbital mines, which they need to be following you to get that. Uh, and then also you've got your short lance ASAT missiles. I've got the missiles. Okay. I'll probably take the rail gun. Likes the big boom. All right. So at this point, the missiles would be in firing range. The rail guns would not. Uh, but before the gunner phase, we do hit the piloting phase. Okay, Dad got a really fun idea what if like they're not going to see this coming what if i just fucking play chicken with them and i just drive straight at them and at the last second like kind of swoop underneath their belly and then they're going to try and turn their attention to follow us and we just leave their belly open to all our friends out there i mean i don't know what would your other father say i don't know now you want to call me then no 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 yeah go ahead go ahead that sounds good Ooh. good kid <laughs> Did Jeff just give Mikey a penalty? <laughs> oh, I'll never talk I'm gonna about get all killed. I'll never talk about my foster family again. I swear, they were my foster family. They weren't real family. Give me that piloting test. Okay. All right. 
One Woo! is to establish movement. Second one is to get up to speed. Third one is going to... Yeah, I'll cool. say it moves up to two. So you are going to be able to play chicken with them. Next round, I will make you do that test to try and not run directly into them for the other part of your chicken. Sweet. But it is at this moment. Let me readjust the stream. Even in Firefox, Foundry's a pain in the ass now. I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. That drops us down to our gunner phase. Both of you are now in firing range. And That's Captain said not to wait. So we unload. Yeah. Taggart, Big Mac. You want to go first? Out. So how are yeah, we yeah. rolling off of... Just do... I uh, think the easiest was just your combat bonus, I think. Uh, can I can I do my command to give them oh, the yeah, bonus? Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. Because I have like the fast and the quick, I can. Yeah, absolutely. Do that uh, and this All will right. be Bert when it's time to roll it. It will be ranged combat. Who does that go to? Uh, we'll say the first one will go to Tagger. Right. And you do get uh, a bonus of one from the missile plus. launcher. All right, so Tagger, you're getting a plus one. I'll push the second one. Oh shit, Big Mac, you're getting an additional plus three on that. So four total? Because a plus one for the uh, missiles? Oh, yeah, four total. Yeah, when you roll that, I think you got to right click on it and just put a four in the Oh dice. crap. I mm. Roll it again. All right, let me roll four more dice. Oh, okay, roll four more dice. You got one, that's a success. Two. Ooh. Two successes. All right. You want to push that or are you calling it? We'll push it. All right, go ahead. Rather than just hitting that push button, you'll need to mark your stress up by one point, but then roll me seven dice. So, man. Ah, same two. No, that's an additional two. Yeah. Oh, an yeah. additional two. So four. Four all together. All right, Very base nice. damage on that missile is 10. So that means you're doing 13 damage. The hammer Our party head. favors deployed, Captain. They do have some pretty decent army armor, but oh god, that! Oh, oh god. god! Oh, that's not god. good. All right, uh, before I start rolling on what happens, this—that was a hard ass hit. That's fantastic. Awesome. It would look awesome too. Like we were, we're just driving straight at them. Missiles all my missiles out. were aimed right at that eye hole that looks like it's made out of glass. It, they yeah. just all went right there. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, Taggart, throw your shots out there. All right, let's see. Let's see how we do. Four Oof. shots to begin with. That is the Taggart way. Extra two, Ooh. so six successes all together. Oh my God. And its uh, base damage is five, I think. And it's armor piercing, right? Uh, yeah, and yes. hang on a second. I think I was incorrect on that missile. Base damage is three on the missile. Yeah. I'm just really bad at math. I will adjust that a little bit. And Taggart, what's your... Gentry. Yeah, same difference. Yeah, just numbers. Taggart, mm -hmm. what was your damage total? Uh, Ten. Ten altogether? <laughs> Oof. All right. Uh, and I eat two of those. It, it, is, armor. it is armor piercing. It is armor piercing. Let me do that again with armor piercing. Watch it get worse somehow. I... Nope. Nope. Oh, Taggart with the money shot. Yeah, that is intense. All right, engineering phase. We don't need an engineering phase. No damage has happened. Uh, I do need to roll. Four. I'm going to do my obligatory yell at Griff for being a son of a bitch and not doing what he's supposed to be doing, even though he's not on the ship. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, Griff, get down to the engine room. What the hell are you doing? Captain, on <laughs> planet, harvesting well eggs. Who the hell told you to do that? Yes, a point up, point up, point a dog right up here. That's fantastic. Uh, okay, transponder is down for 
the galactic hammerhead. That means they just can't call us and beg us for mercy now. Yeah, pretty much. Hopefully they can still hear us, though. Uh, high or low? High. 58, they can still hear you. <laughs> All right. Open comms. Just leave it on open comms. Man, remember that time we killed that guy in the port? What was his name again? Broccoli? I can't remember. I don't know. <laughs> it, all I know, he was a real piece of shit. He was. What a coward. He died hey. on the ground in his own feces and blood. What a coward. What a piece of shit, that guy. Oh. That's over great. Better yet, he's still frozen in all of it in space somewhere. All right. So, <laughs> with the sound of firing starting, <clears throat> the ship captain by Bob Saget starts moving out. I don't do great on my role for piloting. They are... Oh, I don't want that to hide it, though. There we go. Uh, Alright. And they are out of range for gunning. The Roosevelt... Same thing. They they start picking up movement, but not enough to close in yet. Alright. Hammerhead comes around. First thing they're going to do is make a piloting test just to stand still. Yeah, and they drop their speed completely. They even start throwing it into reverse, moving them back one range. So what you're saying is I won at the game of chicken. You absolutely won. Fuck yeah. Uh, next thing they're going to do is they've got three weapons they're going to throw at you. All right. First shot they're taking with their heavy railgun. Good God. Base damage five. One shot. Five damage. So, Captain, what you need to do is for the buzzard. Armor rating. Yep. Roll that armor rating. All right. Drop that's down to one. Four. Alright, so it's four damage. Okay. Yeah, so that puts the buzzard seven out of eleven. Yeah. Alright, so next thing they're gonna do is open up fire with their missile. Base damage of three. Even the white flag, it appears. Oh my gosh. I'll just roll it over here. <laughs> there we wow. go. Caught up. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do that again because I don't know which one was which. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, no successes on the missile shot, and the final shot is going to be their phased plasma pulse cannon. Base damage is six on this, and it is armor piercing. That is going to be seven points of damage. Ooh. Right. <clears throat> Everything's fine, boys. I've been in way worse situations. I'm gonna go ahead, if I can, and use the reroll on that. Yeah, I yeah. have, I have some. Okay. That would be fantastic. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just go ahead and just hit that button right there. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. I got a case of the Jeremys. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, that hurts. Okay. That hurts a lot. It oh. does. What's the total? Seven. Oh, no. That's our entire hole. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> not how I want Good this game, to go. Good game, guys. Not how I want this to go. I got to roll on the major spaceship table. I clicked roll. There it goes. Well, luckily, Big Mac took some spaceship mechanic. <laughs> a All while <right>. ago. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to say. Your ship is dead in the water at the moment. We did not get that catastrophic failure, but while you're at zero every single turn, your time your turn comes around and you're at zero, uh, I'm going to roll on that catastrophic table again until you fix it or you blow up. So, yeah, right now the buzzard is dead in the water. All right. Big Mac grabs his wrench. I'm on it, Captain! <laughs> I'll start working on, on the sensors and trying to fix that. Yeah. Yeah, all right. There's the Tosca call day. Uh, they are going to... They are going to do that. Is Tiger going to suffocate now? <laughs> Not yet. There's a, there's a high chance. High chance. <laughs> This is driving me up the wall. All right. Tosca Calde is going to pull up into range. Uh, and they are going to unload with their beam cannon. Ooh. Uh, pull two successes. That is going to be five damage. Galactic Hammerhead is hurt. And we're going to go ahead and unload a, an ASAT missile. This is your fault, Dan. You made Foundry slow. Probably somehow, yeah. Alright. Save it. Four damage. The important thing is you can't blow us up because that creates a plot hole in your story. Yeah. It could just Does be it? another bloody buzzer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what if one of these other ships is that actually takes on our Someone mantle? Someone else takes the ship. Yeah. 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 Do you guys hear an echo? By I the way? do. Who doesn't have Twitch mute? Um, yeah, I mean, worst case, it's, I don't know. Good. Okay. Hey, Murphy's got a plan. Don't worry. He's always got a plan. Throw Taggart at them. Tell them to go get him. You guys leave. No. You're close. You You're very close, actually. Uh, McMurphy, give me a D4. Okay, 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 okay. D4, D4, D4. That's a two. All right. You take out their orbital mines. Nice. Uh, I'm sorry, the Tosca call that takes out their minds. All right. It is time for the Bloody Buzzard. You all are in terrible shape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What if he's got a, got a plan? Okay. We're going to get in the other shuttle. And we're going to get onto that ship. Because theirs is bigger, and it's got a lot of guns, and I fucking want it. Uh, I think we can basically fit. Fits three. Mikey's kind of small, and then uh, and then you can get on your like the thing that you got. Uh, what is it, Mac? That big old uh, that suit loader thing. You, you want to take on. Bertha, Captain? Yeah, yeah. Just hang on, and we're gonna fly, and we're gonna board that thing, and we're gonna and we're gonna unleash tag it on him. Getting lathered up now, Captain. I got my grease out, <laughs> lathering it on so I could fit into it. <laughs> uh, Captain, you do know they're gonna have a lot of guys on that uh, on that their ship. Okay, so, here's the deal. I it's a three-man sure. pod. Dad, what if I just... We've got a little bit of inertia already built up. What if I just fucking crash this ship into its mouth? That works, too. 
I am concerned we might blow the reactor while we're in there. But hey, let's fucking do it. He and uh, to, you, to your question, to your question, uh, Collins, like they have three ridiculously powerful guns and they've already taken us out. Like this seems like the better route. And, and right. you, I mean, tag, it's insane. So Collins, calm tech. <laughs> Go. Oh, well, I, also, I think we're dead in the water, he said to Jeremy. Yeah. No, I wasn't I sure. Know. Like, I know we don't have like yeah. power, but there would be some. On the idea that... I mean, you're correct in that. So, yeah, any okay. ability to do anything, but you would drift some. Collins, as you're listening to this, all right, Griffin, thank you, and uh, Meta Horse, thank you again. That's uh, what. Yeah. It's actually no successes because uh, <laughs> that that second one was actually just uh, like you said, Foundry's being a bit, you know, tonight. So wait, I'm taking yeah. the first contact test. Okay. Uh, that is going to be what well, we're going to call that. We're going to call that three banked advantages because I think those are going to come in very handy. So you all are up to twelve. Collins, as you're 11, hearing actually. this plan, what's that? I think we're at 11 because oh, I had used you one. You did. I so. forgot about that. Yeah. As you're hearing this plan, Captain's talking, you start punching in shit on your terminal, getting ready for the evac. And uh, holy shit, Melissa, thank you. That's another advantage. We are now up to 12. Uh, you see that someone is currently prepping the last Star Cub for launch. Crispy, you son Crispy. of a bitch. Crispy's trying to make a break with our ship. Uh, can I uh, try to, like, lock him out? Uh, give me another comp tech. Gotta wait. Give me that Yo, stress no. roll, man. Yeah. You start trembling as you realize that somehow Crispy has managed to lock down remote access to this shuttle. Crispy! That's it exactly. I am dropping us out. Crispy just punk you? Yeah, out of ship combat. Oh my god. Can, is it possible for me to maybe repair enough thrusters that we go with what was plan A to ram the ship right down the thing's throat? Yeah, it sounds like the rest of the crew is planning on bailing, but you can certainly do some, uh, you know, in combat repairs. You can give a heavy machinery test. Uh, and that's, depending on how well you can do, you can, if you get some points of hull rating back, um, won't be a permanent fix, but it will put the buzzard. <clears throat> well, I've already strapped myself into Bertha. Bertha's got all the, the, the heavy welding and stuff equipment on sure. her. So I'm going to say, Captain, what do you think? Maybe we can get it going enough just to ram this thing right down his throat. Just like that it beautiful AC yours was, was saying. I mean, if I'm going to lose my that. kitchen, by gosh, I want it to be for a good reason. <laughs> Okay, get it done, man. I just want to make sure our pauses and like that I was a little off on it. But yeah, yeah, yes, do that. Okay. So the space battle is going to continue outside. You all look dead in the air at this point. Uh, so the Mako, or I'm sorry, the Hammerhead is going to focus on the Calde, the Shod, and the Caliente. Um, so while that's happening... What are you all doing? Let's walk through that. Uh, we'll just do... I'm going to go murder Crispy. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Tiger. I was just going to ask. All right. Who's all heading down to this shuttle bay? Taggart is. Hey, he's my father. Let me talk to him. Okay. I'm okay then I'm stopping by my room for my combat armor first. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. I'm going to go out. Call I'm not going to have a space me. suit. I might as well be better getting shot. Higher low. Yeah. Moby, Tiger. give him his helmet okay. back. 
Uh, there's just this jump shot, and Taggart, your helmet lands perfectly on your head. And somehow <laughs> he's got the right amount of spin on it that it actually latches into place and everything. God, he's good. Woo! I'll give him a reluctant thumbs up. Woo! <laughs> All right, so Taggart, you are going to your... You're going to your your uh, quarters to get your armor suited up. So I'm going to say that is going to give McMurphy the chance to get there first. So Big Mac, you are going to be hopping in Bertha to start doing repairs. Mikey, yep. what are you doing? I'm doing my best to just like it's very awkward, but I'm just trying to in general get the wreckage to kind of Aim. steer towards the thing's mouth. Uh, give me a piloting test. Um, this is going to be difficult, so I want three successes. Okay. <clears throat> you gave me three. You I did. manage, you're throwing flaps, you're adjusting, you know, bay doors, you're venting different rooms here and there. Uh, and you manage to get this thing in a direct collision course, just coasting straight towards the hammerhead. Gotta let him know that I, I, he's, he's my dad. He's my real dad. That, that, that foster family's stupid. Yeah. Collins? Uh, I, my senses are busted. Uh, there's not much for me to do. Uh, I'm just keeping Mikey company up here and right. saying good job, good flying. All right. Uh, Big Mac. Yeah. Give me a heavy Thank machinery you. test. All right. I've got spaceship mechanics, so this comes at a plus two bonus. Sure. Oh, come on. Uh, you pull a success. I didn't even see the roll come through. Yeah, you've got one success on there. Are you going to want to push that? Uh, Yeah, let me refresh this real quick. Also, question. So I've yeah. got the ability long hold that says once per session, I can ignore all failures. Does that do anything? I don't. Uh, what do failures do? I, I think that's like if you push it again and you get, you know, stress, like the stress. panic roll kind of thing. Oh, so okay, okay. So that actually helps me if I do push it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I am betting that more than one success will be better here. Yes. So I'm going to push it. Did that go through? I can't. Slowly, the what? Only one dice got pushed for some reason. What? It's a success. It is a success. Uh, if you want to roll me one, two, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven more dice. Eleven. Okay. Uh, that is puzzling how that worked out. It's acting <laughs> weird today. Yeah, I'm not seeing a thing. I don't know if that came through or not. Did it roll? No, I didn't see anything. Not yet. Maybe? Uh, I've hit the buttons. I think oh the addition gosh. of... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you hit the buttons and then some. All right, so on that... Uh, so that is going to be a grand total of one, two, three, four successes. Four, four successes, yep. Uh, okay. It's good. So the... Over your turn, FTL drive has failed as well. Uh, with those successes, I am going to... You get your choice. I'll give you two points of hole repair. Uh, and you can either slap a band-aid on the FTL or slap a band-aid on comms. Oh, so I can't get us just normal drives, just enough to go forward? You will be no longer broken, I'm counting it. Like broken and like forbidden lands. Okay. So you could, with this, people could start doing things again. So as I'm doing the repairs, I'll give the captain the choice to say, uh, hole? You think hole? I mean, there's a gaping hole here. I mean, well, I, I'm guessing hole. <laughs> let me rephrase that. I'm giving you two points of hole repair anyway. Okay. Which is just the ship's hit points. Okay. So do you want to get the communications back online or do you want to get FTL back online? <sighs> no, it was, it was our targeting so array that was broken, wasn't it? What's that? Yeah. Our targeting our target array is also system, down. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm doing this as I'm doing the repairs. I'll get to the point where uh, comms, targeting array. I mean, we need to talk to the rest of the fleet, right? Yeah, let's do comms. All right. Comms are Comms back it up. is. You see uh, Big Matt just slap a big patch. Sure. <laughs> Literally a patch. Yeah. Just a <laughs> slap patch. All right. Captain. Peel off the adhesive and just... You make it down to the bay. Uh, you can see the the door to the EEV. EEV is open. You can see an old man hunched back like waddling, like he's carrying something real heavy. You see that uh, there is a dolly, uh, like a moving dolly, like on the ground outside of the entrance to the shuttle. Um, Crispy hasn't noticed you. Okay. Uh, I'll uh, I'll come up behind him and be like, "Oh, good, you already started. We gotta hurry." Tag it, and uh, and Collins are right behind me. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh! And he kind of spins around, and he almost falls. Um, and you actually see that he is carrying a very bowling ball sized egg shaped item uh it's got some yellow bands painted on it oh shit that's a mini nuke off of onto our ship he is carrying it from your ship onto the little eev onto the star cup okay. onto the shuttle okay all right let's go come on come on come on old man just give, give me that give, get, 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 the, get out of my way get out of my way I mean, I, I, he is totally flustered he doesn't know what to say he's suited up uh okay and he hands it over to you see he's wildly confused you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to be on here well we're getting off let's go come on come on come on all right and he goes over and he kind of sets down at the controls and starts very clumsily punching in numbers it's a mixture of nerves and he's just old as fuck and doesn't quite know what he's doing anymore and then i shoot him in the back of the head okay <laughs> If that's what you're doing, I'm not even going to make you roll for this. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to shoot him in the back of it. Uh, okay. But you got, I got a nuke, though, right? You've got a mini nuke in your hands. Okay. Got a mini nuke. I'm going to close the shuttle door, and I'm going to launch the shuttle. Okay. You've got, you're keeping the mini nuke. I'm keeping the mini nuke. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You close the door. You hit the release lever. Uh, Collins, your comms are back up. Mikey, you see it. The shuttle launches. Uh, it is not under any power of anything. It's just the decompression has launched it free of the ship. Uh, and you can see it gently tumbling through space. Uh, Captain, I see we, we launched a, a shuttle. Yeah, I'll be right back. Uh, is there, right. So is the like I can can I pilot the shuttle? Or did you get in the shuttle? I think. Yeah, I'm yeah. Oh, I want to be in the shuttle. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was confused on that. So yeah, no. Then the ship's not tumbling harmlessly. You're under control of the shuttle. I mistook, and I thought you said you went back onto the buzzard and launched it. No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, you no, no, went no. onto the shuttle with the nuke. And right. Yeah, you and I want to. I want to fly the shuttle into the like into the big sharky ship if I can. I want to try to like weave and kind of just. Just go into the mouth of the, sh into the shark here. Okay. Wait. I mean, I like it. Uh, we gotta like double the the shark, like the. So, McMurphy, you see that the buzzard has started moving again under its own power. Big Mac has got things going. Uh, I would adjust the map, but you know, boundary is being unhelpful. All three of your pirate uh, cohorts have engaged. Um, let's see here. I need to turn off the map on the stream. It's not doing anything. And I'll get some regular ass dice out. So, the situation you see at McMurphy. 
first things first. The Calde, unsurprisingly, holding their own. You can see that the Hammerhead is torn up. It's limping. Uh, you can see it's decompression here and there, bits of fire. The Shod, powered by, or pilot, captained by Bob Saget, dead in the water. You can see that there are, it's heavily venting atmosphere. You can see that they are, there's crew members floating in space outside of it. And then finally, the ship captained by Roosevelt. Uh, he is holding his own, uh, but you, it looks like all weapon systems are offline. Uh, but they're just kind of strafing around the hammerhead. You look over and you can see that the buzzard has been set on and they're moving, heading towards the same location as you as well. Captain, it's your scene. Yeah, so I'm just trying to use all of the chaos, right? To, uh, to try to sneak this tiny little shuttle. Yeah. These are gigantic ships. This tiny little shuttle just trying to sneak right into the mouth of that, uh, that dead shock. Give me a piloting test. Okay. Okay. Now, you, there is a lot of chaos going on here. A lot of things covering you. Just one success is all I'm looking for. Okay. I can, you know, Captain's, he's, he's okay. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. It's not rolling, of course, but of course, uh, you know. All right. If you need to bust out real dice, good. I'm actually gonna try and refresh. Oh, there oh. it goes. There it goes. You gotta uh, push that. I, uh, do I do I use the reroll before or after a push? I would allow you to use it after. I mean, a push is part right. of the initial roll. All right, pushed. I got a success. You okay. pull a success. You push. Take your point of stress. And sure enough, through all of the chaos, Mikey, you're watching this little shuttle just kind of like gently weaving through bits of debris, other ships. You're following up behind it as you see the ship just right into the mouth of the galactic hammerhead. Anything you doing, Mikey? I mean, I'm just doing my best to like crash it in there and then... I don't know. Taggart's on board. I just want to make sure that we're in a spot where Taggart can hop out and start shooting people. Okay. So, yes. Mike Murphy. Well, I mean, I would get on comms. Okay. Uh, so, I, I think I need to make something clear. I'm not being heroic here. I'm being strategic. I just want everyone to understand. I'm not, sure. I'm not sacrificing myself or something. What are you, crazy? What I would like to do is I would like to try to open up a hole that I'm gonna leave. I wanna. I wanna get the nuke out, and sure. then I wanna fly the fuck out of there because I so don't want to die. <laughs> you put the nuke in the back airlock. Yeah. You so fly in, them. Mikey. You're watching this. You think your old man's about to die. All of a sudden, that little shuttle just flips around. And you see a vent of gas from the back of it, and a strange metallic ball go flying out red light beeping on it give me another piloting test there mcmurphy okay okay i was just like mikey you know i just wanted the knock first that's all uh all right come on one's good enough that's for success. me okay and all of a sudden that shuttles out and a second later blinding light for everyone looking at it uh, so I'm just going to give this to Collins and to Mikey. You would be watching. I want a stamina test. Stamina. Cool guys, don't I, look at I have stamina. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. That's true. Collins, Damn right. you want to push? Yeah, sure. Why not? <clears throat> cool. They always turn like around that, and dude. fly away. Colin, you look over and you see this bright light going off. And just in that instant, you see Mikey wincing real hard and you just hit the UV shutters on the buzzard. There we is... got these installed for a reason. 
you know, no one hears a nuke going off in space. That's one thing Star Wars has taught us. Uh, oh, that was a good idea. I just, you know, you're not the worst. I just, I want to replace you. That's all. It's fair. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Oh, God. All of you would see at this point the, what you wanted to do. And that was pretty badass there, Captain. The hammerhead is dead in the water. It is... I'm going to give it two rolls on the major, and we're going to see what happens. Probably pretty flooded with radiation, I'd imagine. Uh, uh, <laughs> critical crew injury. Critical crew injury. The ship, of course, it's got this massive hole breach in the front of it. Its face is just gone. And between the sudden decompression and the intense radiation of a nuclear bomb, um, you don't get any signs. You get nothing. Ghost. Silence. The other ships kind of come to a standstill, and you get the communication over the comms. The Big Mac is fixed. It's Martha. Holy shit. Did you just fly a goddamn nuke into a goddamn mouth of a giant shark spaceship? Oh. That's my dad. He needs help, kid. He really does. But that was badass. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to reconvene back on the buzzard. The... The hammerhead hasn't moved. Hasn't done anything. It's no longer even venting atmosphere at this point. It's just dead in space. All of you, including Roosevelt and Martha One-Eye, are all back on board the buzzard. Now what? You're muted, Dan. Do we need to like go sweep through their ship and make sure they're all dead? I'm not getting on that ship. <laughs> Who's up on the radioactive scrubbing uh, procedures? Uh, I gotta say, I missed that class. Well, I mean, actually, culinary school. You know uh, what? There is one guy here that could handle it. That's a good point. Maybe. You know, the other Not thing Not maybe. Is... Moby. <laughs> eh? you know, eh? I yeah, mean, yeah, just yeah. like like a one-hour truce. Oh, oh, sorry, stream. There. I mean, we just nuked a spaceship. I think I can... I will try not to be an asshole for like an hour. It's all right. Uh, you know, it wouldn't be bad to get a look at their logs if we could... See where they bed, maybe where their base is with all their loot. You know, they got this really ship. Good. Yeah, that'd be yeah. really interesting to learn. So, what's happening? Do our I'm trying to remember if our Echo All World System Survival Suits protect from radiation. Yeah, I got the I don't really see anything in it, so. Mm. But yeah, I mean, like, Nick Murphy wants to go over there for sure, uh, but he doesn't know whether or not the the suits were taken. Can I end my panic condition? Yeah, go for it. Um, so what I am seeing, I'm not seeing any exact mentioning of radiation. So what I'm going to do is whoever goes over there, you're going to have to give me mind your business there, Planet Buster. Uh, you're going to, we're just going to have to do some stamina rolls every now and then to see if this radiation starts affecting. I'm going. Who's coming? 
Oh, I got all this insulation, Captain. I mean, how bad can radiation be, right? And I'll bring Bertha here. I'll come with you, Captain. You need someone right. to know the systems. Tag it. Tag it, speak it. I'm muted. I just assumed I was going. Okay, good. Mikey, you staying here? You coming along? I mean, do you want me to have the ship ready to go in case like something weird happens or whatever we you got want? Griff. We got Griff. Griff will take care of it. Yeah, Griff's back on board. Okay. Whatever you say, Dad. Yeah. Oh, and uh and Mac, I shot uh I shot Crispy. I don't know if he's got anything on the mean or anything like that for you to use. Uh, but uh please do not serve it to guests. Thank you. Okay. All right. I need to do a couple more rolls here. Give me a second. Getting the next leg prepped. Trying to see if I can find a thing about radiation. So when you have a radiation leak, like you get a certain amount of rads per shift. Uh, yeah. And so like a shift is basically 10 hours. So if we spend a shift over it, there, it, depending on the level of the radiation, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. All right. Sometimes the instrument's smaller, but you know. does it just kind of go away over time again? It would be something. I mean, you don't accumulate like I mean, too much. You got medicines. You got an auto dog. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right. Okay, okay. I figured something out. All right. Those of you who are going over, give that rundown for me again. I was doing stuff. Who's hopping on the shuttle heading over to the corpse? Big oh, Mac so. is. All of us? Everyone? I think everybody is. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. I mean, that makes no party splitting easier. So. Good. Uh, Mikey, give me that piloting test. Okay, okay. Piloting test. Here we go. Ah, you want to push that? Uh, <laughs> after all that other nonsense, now I can't fly. Uh -huh. There we go. Your grandfather's brains and blood are all over the controls. It's probably unsettling. It's, you know, um, it's okay. You know, uh, all right. Sorry, Grumps. You make it over. Uh, rather than trying to land on the totally wrecked area, you do find a docking port along the back that is in good shape. Uh, it is completely powered down. As you load up, it takes a little bit more manual, manual finagling. Uh, but you all board the hammerhead very much once you get on board the the exterior of it they've strapped some more guns to it they've done a lot of cosmetic work but the interior of it is none other than just a military style dreadnought this massive monstrous ship those I mean a good number of you have served in the military uh, so you recognize the architecture, you recognize, they even got emblems still on it as well. Like, this thing is in very good shape. There's a corner in one of these I used to like to be in. Mm. <laughs> as you're all moving through, I some Sometimes. of you have a motion sensor, right? Yeah, I got one. Absolutely nothing. Which, okay. Well, I mean, you have it. It's just it's picking up absolutely nothing. Yeah. It looks clean, Captain. And sticking out his hand. Yeah. Start moving. Corpses floating here and there. Some of them dead from vacuum. I mean, blue lips, pale skin. Others are just scorched. Direct hits from the either the radiation or the blast of the bomb itself. Where are you all heading to on this ship? Heading up to the bridge? Is that what I heard correctly? Yeah. 
Sure. Uh, yeah. Everyone. Go I got ahead. the yeah. uh, I got the radiation rules if you want them. What do you got? So basically, there's three different tiers, like John was saying. It's either weak, strong, or extreme. If it's weak, we we basically take one radiation per shift, so one, once every 10 hours. If it's strong, it's once per turn, which is once every 10 minutes. If it's extreme, it's once per round. And then every time we gain a radiation point, we roll a number of dice equal to how many points we have. And for every success we roll, we take a, we take a point of damage. And if we're broken by radiation damage, then we have to we have to uh, make a death roll uh, each time we gain another radiation point until we're removed from that hot spot. Okay. And as long as we're there, we can't recover health in any way. So we would basically have to be completely removed. And then we could we could like roll. We'll, we'll basically recover when we're out of it. But there's always the possibility that like our radiation points become permanent. And there is a spot on the sheet that lets us mark our radiation. Okay, I see that. All right. Yeah, this is going to be strong radiation. Everyone go ahead and take a point of radiation. The first one is free. Uh, not according to Mur McMurphy. Yeah, I take a... Uh... Oh, man, maybe it's a little... Maybe it's partly like, because I was carrying it, too, or something. I don't know. Maybe it was leaky. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, guys. We probably should have took the other shuttle. Yeah, All right. right. Radiation, friend. All right. All right, we got uh, on your character sheet, Dan. Just click the button, and like once you add a point to the radiation track, it'll automatically roll for you. Ah, okay. All right, heading up to the bridge. Everyone, give me a notice test. Or, I'm sorry, observation test. Is there notice? No observation. Yeah, that's Savage Worlds. Oh yeah. That's what I get. We play too many games. Oh, should know, we clear right? our stress or no? Uh, yeah. You spend enough time on the other ship if you can clear your stress. That's nice. Uh, all right. Very nice. Uh, I am going to... Good God, McMurphy. You are rolling high. You're keeping it together. I'm a mess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mikey, as you're all kind of moving through these corridors with floating dead bodies um you kind of see up ahead and no one else seems to notice it under the grating i got a success system. too but he got two okay all right you, you pointed it out for me taggart you did you, you it was it was a team effort yeah i was just looking for who got highest so i can share i saw it too but i didn't say anything <laughs> what you bastards all right you see that under some of the the gratings up ahead, Mikey, the floor grates, there's the occasional, like a little bluish, greenish glow. Uh, but you can never make out what it is, but it's there and then it's gone. Do you guys see that glow up there? Those of you who got a success on this, maybe when Mikey points it out, you think, maybe I did. Uh, and it just, it didn't click at the time. Fair enough. Stay frosty. If something comes at us, fire. There ain't, yeah. there ain't nothing friendly on this boat. Gotcha. All right. As Keep you're... it moving. This is a very hot place. We ain't got long here. That's... Let's go. Yeah. You continue kind of following the path. Now, this is, like I said, standard military. So those of you who have served, you know how to get around on this ship. That's not a problem. Uh, eventually, you come to the... You got two options here. There's the stairs climbing up. There is a lack of gravity. So moving up these stairs would be just shooting up the center. Uh, and there also is the lift. Um, which... It's not powered, but potentially could get the same thing. Open the door, pop the top hatch on the inside of the elevator, and then right up the shaft. Preference? I'd be good with stairs. It seems like, like the, the... Crank the door yeah. open. It sounds like the thing with the least doors to open. Sure. Exactly. All right. Or aiming to save time. So yeah, and if you there's make anyone your way alive to... here, was sitting ducks in the lift. So let's yeah. go. Make your way to the stairs. 
It's like I described. It's that circular, kind of rectangle-ish, spiraling stairs going up. The switchback stairs, whatever they call them. I don't know words. Who would be the one <laughs> the who would take point? Circular. What's that? The re the rectangular uh, circular stairs? Yeah. Is that <laughs> yeah, the rectangular circular stairs. That's master class in description right there. Who mm -hmm. would be taking point, darting up through the center of these? Just I'm pulling guessing that might be a mobility thing. It would be a mobility thing it is a little tight <clears throat> you all will be able to get through without much trouble uh but mm -hmm. it will be single file i mean i'm just saying if you want your tiniest person and the person with 10 mobility to do it you could let mikey take lead we could and if there's someone on the other side with a big ass gun and it's gonna shoot whoever comes through right in the face i would much rather them shoot taggart in the face than you <laughs> There you know, is. Taggart's very mobile. That you make a great point, Dad. <laughs> Look at that. Taggart is very Look mobile. You. Taggart, you're doing great. You're moving up, <laughs> minding your corners, watching doorways, moving the occasional. <laughs> Taggart's, a, Taggart's a professional. He is. <laughs> He's a goddamn professional. Taggart, also give me an observation test. Uh Ooh, I'm going to go ahead and push that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I fixed it. Taggart, as you're moving up, you see there is like this broken chunk, like a, a severed eye beam or something like that up ahead above you as you're coming down. And you see like, at first it looks like it's just drifting across your path. Like, you know, things are free floating. And all of a sudden it turns down. And you can see that there is a arm and it pushes this giant eye beam down directly at you. But the thing with this arm is when you see it, it's got this veined, motley, weird colored, bluish green glow to it. Go ahead and give me another mobility test. <sighs> Uh, let me rephrase that. We've got your one on your mobility test. We may okay. or may not discard that. How would you react to this situation? This I mean, really, Taggart. It's coming at you like a huge spear at the moment. I mean, I'd like to get in a position to shoot it, but if I get hit with it, then that'll probably put me out of position to shoot it, so. Okay, so is your plan just to fucking shoot this thing until it shifts course enough to no longer be a threat I, I wanted to like maybe get out of the way of it and then shoot the arm thing all of a sudden those of you behind taggart you see he very rapidly shifts to the side he probably yells out whatever command calls that the marines Move. <laughs> yeah taggart give me that shooting all right oh set up right that is, that is not enough for Taggart. All right, three successes. That's good. And it's like, uh, you know, mastered billiard player here. Taggart, somehow you're great at geometry. You brace yourself against this railing, pop a couple shots at the nose. It kind of destabilizes it. A few more shots here. And all of a sudden, this thing just turn and wedges itself into some of the nearby stairs it's still kind of in the way not enough that it'll impede you uh but, but you didn't hit anybody else behind you me have completely removed it as a threat that's a good thing you did because if you would have just said i'm moving out of the way then i would have made everyone give me a mobility test one at a time it would have gone super good so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how would you all react to taggart's sudden movements and shots at this i-beam coming right at you are we uh free, free floating in like zero g or are yeah. we okay uh probably try to press up against the wall get some cover we could see what he's you know maybe dealing with up there all right observation test if anyone else wants to do the same you can Thank you. 
you all look and you see wrapped around one of the rails at the very top of this thing, uh, this staircase, you see fingers, glowing bluish green fingers wrapped around a bit of handrail. It moves back for just a second. And something almost the size of a baseball is slung down as you see this arm come and sling something the size of a baseball right down the center. Anyone doing anything with that? Uh, try to like, slap it back at him. Okay. Mobility test. Oh, yeah. I'm super good at those. It's Colin, you see whatever this is coming down and you start to reach out to slap back, send it the other way, and you realize it's a grenade. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Collins, uh, oh shit. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Grenade goes off. I got a success. You did get a success, so I'm giving you a a reduction in damage here. Yay! God, I hope that was with your good hand. <laughs> Something malicious hand there. At this point. Uh, I don't know. Now you're going to stop working, Foundry? You bastard. We can blame anything that goes wrong on Foundry tonight. Yeah. That's, that's how this is going. All right. Uh, so you have your armor still. I just pulled the base success on this thing. You did pull your success. So I'm going to immediately cut down to half damage. Uh, that is going to be four points of damage. Okay. Roll in the armor. Which there are two points. <laughs> you got this. Are you are you wearing your eco all world survival suit right now? Uh no, I only have the Mark Fifty. Uh there was Wait, we all have Yeah, there's oh, plenty. We of all have Eco All oh, World Survival Suit. That's because it was way down at the bottom of my list. Hang on. Come on. You can uh, right click on things, I think, yeah. to unequip them and left click on them to equip them. There we go. Uh, so now your armor's four. Give me another two D6. Yeah. Uh, two, just two D6. There we go. Three damage. Yeah. Yep. Ouch! As this grenade explodes, ripping through Colin's suit, you see Collins, you start kind of losing control of where you're at as your suit's got all these small tears venting around. Oh, we're going to need to get him some flex seal. I would probably consider a standard part of any EEV suit would be some duct tape. Yeah. Patch kit. So... Everyone take a point of radiation. Oh, Big Mac. I'm going to try reloading. My character sheet's not working, so mm -hmm. give me one second. Ah, I've taken damage. Can I use my uh, resilient? Let's take a look at that. Uh, roll for strength team. anytime you suffer damage. You can't push the roll. But for every success I make, it cancels a point of damage. Uh, it says damage, and this is damage. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. You're too big to fail, Big Mac. Give me just a strength roll. You can click that off your tributes up top. All right. There it goes. <laughs> there it yeah, is, yeah, my sheet's like not updating anything oh god yeah <laughs> so like uh yeah i'll just roll another d6 there yeah also uh australia's place has a great point everyone take a point of stress because someone just threw a grenade at all of you it's all this fat you see oh boy it stops the take radiation point of damage so What's the up? captain immediately starts coughing and when you look over, you see uh, blood 
all over his mask as I am broken, as I have rolled three total dice. All three of them have been sixes with my radiation rolls, and I am now broken oh, from radiation. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I, I'm i getting dead back to the ship. Fair. Go for it, kid. All right. Mikey, you start dragging Captain McMurphy back. Anyone else going back with Mikey and the captain? No, got we one got one job. We, yeah, we got I, enemies here. Back yeah. trail should be clean. Get, kid, get. All right. It's Taggart's job. All right. Captain. I just point my Mikey. elbow. You got this, Taggart. Taps his bottle. Well, you two escape. <laughs> Getting out's a lot faster than your slow progress in. Uh, you know, Australia, Jeff did play as a Fallout Ghoul for a while, so. It was pretty good, too. Yeah. <laughs> was. He was sick. He was really <laughs> good. I enjoyed it. So good. Okay, yeah, I enjoyed that setup. So. Those of you remaining, eventually you make it to the top of this stairwell. You can see that the door to the bridge, it is closed. Um, you can see that there is light inside the bridge through a small porthole looking into it. So there's illuminations. There's a light on inside. The rest of the ship is completely powered down. And where did the arm go? No sign of it. I mean, is I'm this the it only it way it could have gone, or is it? Did, did we all get a look at it? I, I, I didn't think roll everyone got on. a peek at it. Yeah, that, that thing seemed to be a little hot. Maybe uh, anybody got a meter around? Maybe you know, maybe it's hotter than the rest of this place. You've got motion. Have anything for that? No, no, no. I'm talking about like Geiger, or if anyone's got uh, any kind of sensor like that. Actually, I don't think anyone does. Nope. So, what do you all do? You can, if you want to give me an observation test, you can try and track down, see if there's anywhere else that this thing went on the bridge. I'll do it. Collins. No, man. You no. can see that there is a little bit of blood splatter floating in zero G, just these little droplet orbs. We're not seeing any bodies though, right? No, not here. And yeah, and we're at the command console, right? You are outside of the bridge. The we're door outside to the, bridge of the bridge is closed. All right, can I uh, try and get that door open? Heavy machinery. Yeah. Get up my spanner wrench. Oh, uh, would this spaceship mechanic play into this? Sure, you're doing spaceship work. Uh, despite push? how this looks, this actually isn't a door. It's a solid wall. Um, yeah. I'm pushing that. It's a decoration. <laughs> you want to push that? <laughs> there we go. Sure. There we go. Mobility <laughs> test there, Big Mac. All right. Um, well, I, I, can I just fail it? I mean, because <laughs> I got one. Oh, yeah. As you pop the door open with this wrench, you're kind of like slowly working it open. And all of a sudden, the door goes flying out of your hands, and you're kind of standing there in front of the doorway. Take a point of stress, because you felt that uh, mobility to kind of get out of the way. As it, it startles you, and you see what appears to be Grandy, captain of the Hammerhead. Suit melted and fused to his skin, where his suit doesn't exist is this this glow coming off of him from these deep veins and crevices broke across his skin. As he screams out at the three of you, I'm Toxic Grandy! And he attacks. <laughs> <laughs> so, unfortunately, I haven't gone yet, so. That's true. But that's fine, because like we are... Everyone's got helmets on, so we... No one really hears it. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, it's in a bad <laughs> You see him mouthing at us. We, yeah. we just see him mouthing at us. I'm just like, hmm. Oh, God. Well, that ain't right. Shoot it. 
All right. We're doing initiative. Just Dang it. The I was looking up slightly like Toxic Avenger. Exactly. I was too slow. I was too slow because I was going to say I'm going to overwatch at the door, but uh, higher low, Dan. I didn't remember how it works. Uh, let's go low. You overwatched at the door. Do you know how it works now? Yes. It just I can say I'm looking at something, and if I see something to shoot, I get to shoot before they take action. Okay. Shoot. I know it's sort of cheesing things, but I was like, I don't remember how it works. That's fine. I mean, that's Taggart's thing. That... You pushing? Of course. Is this uh, armor piercing? Uh, let me double check. I don't believe it is. So. Might be the opposite, actually. Yeah, shotgun's shot actually the opposite. It, it, it's the opposite. Yeah. Yeah, you'd roll double armor. So roll, roll for more d6. It's fine. What's your base damage on that? Uh, it is three. Uh, so you're going to deal five points of damage. Did you roll stress yet? That's okay. All right. Let's get some initiative out of the way. Because now I can go into overkill. Yeah. Big Mac, your initiative is four. Collins, your initiative is five. Taggart, you're setting at an eight. And Toxic Grandy setting at a three. Any of you want to do any Dang trading it. before we get into this? I don't know that it really matters since he gets to go first. Okay. You can have mine, Dagger. Okay. I'll take it. All right. Can you update that? It might matter, I suppose, depending on what happens. All right, Toxic Grandy, I got three targets. Collins, yeah, he closes in on you. Of course. He's taking out our leadership, this son of a bitch. <laughs> As he punches hard with a close combat test. Dealing you two points of radiation. Ooh, nasty. Yeah. I don't like him. Ugh. <laughs> You're fine. But, hey, let, let me roll a couple more times. You're doing great, man. Okay. Big Mac. This dude's uh, right in front of you. He just punched Collins. He ejects his butcher knife from his leg and just shoves it into him. Tries to carve this guy open. Absolutely. Let's see. Oh, come on. Yes, I'm pushing that. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, so what does your butcher knife do? Is that base one on damage? Uh, it is knife, knife, knife. Oh, you know what I did? I should have just rolled the knife. Two damage. Two base damage. So that is going to be four points of damage. You do need to roll me stress. Okay, I pushed it. I think it's just being slow. Yeah, it's not doing shit for me. All right. That was your... You're keeping it together. You hmm. cut hard into Grandy, and this bluish-green glowing blood just kind of starts pooling in the air outside of the knife wound. Taggart? Taggart's just going to have to shoot him again. Sure. I didn't shoot. Oh! Fucking Christ, All right. Uh, should I, three, should four, I go five, ahead and push six, it? Seven. Yes. Push it real good. The answer is, the answer is always Eight. yes. Oh. Oh, this will be bad, though. Oh, no. All right. Never 
you blow his leg off. As you see Toxic Grandy lying there on the ground, mouthing something at all of you. Fortunately, you, you get to pick an item that I drop in my panic. You panicked mother truck. His helmet. <laughs> Oh. Collins will walk up with his uh, with his revolver and just blow. Uh, you lose your never right sleep pills. Dang it! You put him out. How else do you think? How yep. else do you think Tiger is going to keep a watch uh, on that floor for days? Mm -hmm. So I can do that, no problem. All right. As the shot goes out, everyone, give me a stamina test. Everyone here in the ship. I need to roll stress, stress again. Yeah, you gotta roll stress on film. You are all, all right. doing fantastic. All right. Each of you, as he dies, take your final point of radiation damage. And with that, um, I think we're at the point where we'll just say everyone reconvenes. You steal all the data that you want to steal. Uh, Big guy's proving out that fat. You gonna roll that again? No, that that's me. Oh, yeah. Taggart. I took three points a day. Oh, yeah. Taggart. Are you broken? That's fine. Big Mac is proving out no. that fat is a successful insulator to radiation. Nice. <laughs> Taggart's got Taggart has 7 HP. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Uh, Collins is down to one health. Right. Not feeling great. I should really go. <laughs> but you get to pick another item I dropped, I think. I love it. Oh, uh, your shotgun. No, oh. shotgun's a story item. It's protected. I know. Uh, you can take my pistol your away if you want, or the motion, motion tracker. Okay. Okay. His entire eco suit. Just, <laughs> it's too hot. I thought about here. it. I did ah. think about it. Your pants fell off, and you suffered explosive decompression from the waist down. <laughs> explosive <laughs> diarrhea <laughs> decompression. No. All right. Um, real quick, there, Collins. I need you to give me a comtech test. Sure. I'm gonna have to to requisition some supplies when we get back. Or a big uh, no. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about rolling stress or the thing. We're gonna okay. reconvene at the ship. You've all pulled the drives out of this ship. Um, we'll spend time between sessions recovering from radiation. Um got the rules here so yeah there's a risk radiation is permanent every time you're about to heal a rad die roll a stress die if it shows the face hugger your rad is not healed but in fact becomes permanent so roll like 3d6 if we took three points of radiation yeah and if any of them come up as a one that radiation now just to make easy. sure were we adding a dot every single time he said to take damage, or were we only adding a dot if we took damage from it? You add a dot every time I said take radiation. Okay, all right, just making sure. Collins has one point of permanent radiation damage. That sucks. Big Mac took no damage from radiation. <laughs> and the sheet oh. still won't let me add a dot. <laughs> That's rough. Taggart also. Oh, I got a permanent right. one too. Oops. I just actually rolled a whole shit ton of radiation damage. That's fine. Clicking it up instead of down. All right. Let's do our XP questions and then we'll close out of here. Next session, the plan is to pick up back on the ship. You've got a fuckload of data to sift through, so we'll talk about that data a little bit. Um. And then we'll figure out what you all want to do next as your ship is in terrible shape. Grandy is dead. The galactic hammerhead is thoroughly destroyed. But on the same hand, the 
ship piloted or captained by Bob Saget is also destroyed. Oh. Yeah. He didn't survive it. Oh, Bob Saget. Poor Bob Saget. What about Aunt Martha? Uh, Martha One Eye is fine. Nice. Yeah, she did great. Roosevelt, his ship's in terrible shape, but they survived. Bob Saget was complete failure. So, if you participated, you get an XP point. Did you risk or sacrifice something to further your own personal agenda? Answer that yourselves. Did you risk your life for your buddy PC? Each of you answer that. Challenge or stand up to your rival. Once again, if you think you did, take the point. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone made a goddamn panic roll, so take the point for that. Overcome a dangerous event using violent or non-violent means. Yes. Yes, you did. That's pretty much our MO. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, significant discovery or revelation. Not this session. But next session with this data, it will be a hard yes for that one. Uh, do you feel like you performed an extraordinary action? Captain certainly gets it because he killed his father to hand deliver a nuke into the mouth of a spaceship shark. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, one day, Mikey will do the same. Yeah. One day. <laughs> uh, no money earned, though. Um, yeah, and that's where we'll wrap it. Next session, we'll go over that data and see what we get and take shit from there. So let's do our closing round. Jeff, what are the gaggers got happening? Yeah, we got some uh, we got some free league games going on this week. Nice. Uh, so on Friday, yeah, Friday we're doing Blade Runners. So we're back to that. Uh, I think it's episode three of that, that campaign. Uh, Saturday... Uh, we are back to One Ring. That's episode 47 of that campaign. We've been playing that for well over a year. Wow. Uh, and then... It's been that long. Yeah, it's like December 2021, I think we started. Good yeah, as we've gone off. Crazy. Nice. Uh, and then Monday, uh, we are back to uh, Horror on the Orient Express. Yeah, you can yeah. see uh, both Jeremy and Chuck in that one. And then Tuesday, speaking of uh, Freely Games... Uh, we're playing some Forbidden Lands, where our good buddy Steven, if his, if his computer allows, uh, we are running running and playing some Forbidden Lands. So, a lot of fun. Nice. Very cool. Bert, what you got happening? Uh, well, this week, uh got some BX Dungeons & Dragons going on this Friday. Um, that's uh, We do long, long term. So, that's been going on for several years. You can find the back catalog of those on Blue Magic, B L U M A G I K dot com. More recent episodes are on YouTube. Uh, this Saturday, I think this is uh, Weird Frontiers mm -hmm. week, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, be on the official Goodman Games channel yeah. uh, doing some of that. And. Um, this is not a Shadowrun Sunday, but I might be doing a Dicey Tales um, test drive on some adventures that we are getting ready for the next supplement nice. that's coming out. So we'll see how that turns out. Cool. Jeremy, I hear you got a Patreon you want to tell us about. It's true, Aaron Reese on Patreon. You've got comics, maps, tokens, other fun assets. Check it out. Nice. All right. Uh, let's see. John... Every yeah. Tuesday and Thursday on the Defenders of Cobalt YouTube, we got a show that comes out. You want to tell us about it? We do. Uh, sure. I run uh, Chuck and a few other uh, lovely people through uh, uh, Pathfinder 2 Adventure Module. We're doing uh, Hell, Knight Hill, Hell Knight Hill, which is part one of the Age of Ashes Adventure Path. And, uh, oh, yeah, they're all goblins, and it's going super well. Like, there's no chaos at all. It's so orderly and organized. Super. Uh, there's definitely no... Nope. Yep. And and to add to that, Steven is our bard. Mm -hmm. And we all know that Steven is the, the core anchor of stability for any party. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, super cool. Also, those come out in bite-sized... 20 minute ish chunks so you got a busy day we got a show for you uh mm -hmm. as far as other shit happening on dok friday at 10 p.m central john dan myself playing some heart that joe's running for us uh saturday at 1 p.m central over on grim and perilous plays you can catch dan jeff 
um, Melissa, Maitre, Steven, Adam, a whole bunch of cool people. Uh, as we, um, as I run them through some Tales from the Loop, and that's our Through the Hedgerows campaign over on Grim and Perils Plays. And like Bert said, Saturday night, Goodman Games official, he's running us through Weird Frontiers. Anyone got anything else? No? All right. Well, we're or going check out our Discord. Join our goddamn Discord, because we're all there, and... Uh, we talk about the things that you hear uh, while you're a college student in the dorms. <laughs> really? That, we've gotten up. That used to be high school gym oh talk. Now, now we're in college. Hey, we're that is the totally <laughs> wrong direction for that comment. But yes, usually it was fart jokes. Now it's evolved. Mm. All right, everyone. We will catch you later. Doses.